Hi friends and welcome back to my channel. My name is Ariana Elizabeth and welcome to your Monday class. Today's class is going to be focusing on the legs. It'll still be full body, but I did get a request for a little bit more legs. So we will go ahead and focus on that. When you're ready, we'll meet in tabletop. Okay, coming to tabletop, knees under hips, wrists under shoulders, unless you're having any trouble with your wrists, then you can walk them out just a little bit so that the um, tension is not on them too much, not too much pressure. And we'll just take a few body circles, just kind of rolling your body clockwise, spreading your fingertips. Taking it the other way. Last one. And then we'll take a few cat and cows here. Inhale to drop the belly, lift the crown of your head, spread your shoulder blades. Exhale, dome the spine, drop your crown. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Last one, inhale. And exhale. Coming to a neutral spine, curl your toes. And coming to a turbo dog, send your hips up and back, but keep your knees bent where your belly is pretty much resting on the tops of your thighs, pressing into the earth, almost like you're trying to get your bum to your heels. Deep breath in. Exhale, straighten through your legs, bringing your heels a little closer to the mat, to a downward dog. And you can pedal this out, maybe come up to your toes. And then we'll take a little twist here, bringing your left hand to the outer calf, the outer right calf, and pulling, twisting, opening towards the right. Inhale back to center. Exhale, bring your hand to the outer left calf. Inhale back to center and rise to your toes, tiptoe in between your hands. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, bend into your knees generously. Forward fold, dropping the crown of your head, maybe resting the tops of your hands on the mat. And as you're ready, roll on up to standing. Head coming absolutely last. Inhale, sweep your arms up high and lift your heels coming to your toes. Exhale, lower everything down, palms come to heart center, another just like that. Inhale, lift, heels come up. Exhale, bringing everything back to center. Last one, inhale, lift, and stay here, breathe. Reaching your fingers as high as they can go, driving through the balls of your feet, getting a little calf work here, and then slowly without touching your heels, lower, and then press back up. Lower without letting your heels touch, back up. 
lower, and back up, lower, for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, almost there, 3, 2, you got it, last one, make it count, lower your heels all the way down, forward fold, bend to your knees here, feel that release, lovely, go ahead and add a little space in between your feet here, about two fists in between. Take your left hand to the outer uh, right ankle or outer left edge of your right foot. Inhale, open up that right arm. Using your left hand to press into your foot. Open, twist a little deeper. One more inhale. Exhale, cross that right hand over to the outer left foot, inhale, open up to the left, one more inhale, exhale, lower it down, keeping your feet right where they are, inhale to chair pose, sitting nice and low, sucking the lower belly in, how low can you sit here? Do you feel it in your quads? Are they warming up here? Take a tiny little pulse for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Deep breath in, stand all the way up. Palms come to heart center. Exhale back to chair for 10, 9, 8, nice and low, 6, Five, four, three, two, and one. Stand it back up. Last one, we're just gonna hold it nice and low for 10, nine, eight, seven. Sit a little bit lower. Five, four, three, two, and one. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, half lift. And exhale, plant your hands. Step back, shift forward onto your toes before you take your chaturanga, rock back. I'm sending your heels back towards the room, kind of stretching your hamstrings out a little, and then take your vinyasa. Inhale, upward facing dog. Take a moment here, breathe. Point your toes, you might feel it in your quads. Maybe drop your right hip down, left hip. And downward facing dog, send your hips up and back. Awesome, deep breath in through the nose. Open mouth, exhale. Inhale, sweep that right leg high. And exhale, step it in between your hands, straighten through that front right leg, staying right here in pyramid pose. Inhale, lift the chest just slightly. Exhale, melt your chest over the top right thigh, dropping the crown of your head. Beautiful. Now, we're gonna shift our weight into our right foot, so bend into that right knee. Power up to a standing split. Working to keep your hips square, so pulling that left hip down. Don't worry about your leg coming all the way up. Just holding right here. And then gently bend into that right knee. Bend into the left knee and begin to power through that right leg to a standing Tadasana. 
extending one leg to dasana. <laughs> Correction. Now find a deep breath in. With your hands at heart center, bend into that right knee and back up. Two. We're gonna go to five. So three. Four. And five. Awesome. Shoot that left leg behind you, coming into a crescent lunge. Sweep your arms up overhead. Exhale to warrior two. Inhale, reverse your warrior. Keep that right knee bent. Exhale, cartwheel your hands down. Take your vinyasa. Inhale, upward facing dog. Open mouth, exhale. Downward facing dog. Beautiful, deep breath in through the nose. Open mouth, exhale. Inhale, sweep your right leg high. Exhale. Low lunge, step it between your hands, begin to straighten through that front left leg. Inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, pyramid pose. Rest your torso over your top left thigh, breathing here. Relaxing your jaw, again, keeping some space in between your teeth, removing your tongue from the roof of your mouth. Sending breath into your hips, Pulling that right hip forward, left hip back so that you keep your hips square. One more breath in. And exhale, bend into that left knee, getting ready to power to a standing split here. Again, working to keep that right hip down. It's not about how high your leg can go. You wanna have Good posture. And then bend into both knees, getting ready to power into that one-legged Tadasana on the left. Awesome, deep breath in. Exhale, bend into the left knee, straighten through for one. Three, four, and five. Beautiful, begin to shoot that right leg out behind you, coming into a crescent. Deep breath in. Exhale to warrior two. Inhale, flip your palms, reverse your warrior, keep that bend in your front and left leg. And exhale, cartwheel your hands down. Send your left leg to meet your right, and take your vinyasa. Inhale, upward facing dog. Open mouth, exhale. Downward facing dog. Beautiful, deep breath in through the nose. Open mouth, exhale. Awesome, inhale, gaze forward. Exhale, hop to malasana. So hop to your yogi squat. Bum comes in between your heels, elbows come in between your knees, pressing into the palms. Option to place a block underneath your bum for a little more stability here. Option to bring your fists together and press them. If you wanna open up those hips a little bit more, maybe you're lifting your toes off the mat, that's totally fine. Keeping your gaze directly forward. One more inhale. Slowly rock it forward. And if you'd like, you can hop back to your vinyasa. Inhale, upward facing dog, but gently relax all the way down to your belly. Bring your hands underneath your shoulders. Inhale to cobra. Exhale. Relax it down. Two more, inhale. And exhale. Last one. Inhale. And exhale. Get ready to press up to standing on your knees. 
hands come on your hips and just sway your hips side to side. I like to kind of sit down into that glute. Good little stretch. And then bring your hips. I don't know if anyone knows, bring it around town like SpongeBob. <laughs> or if I'm just too old for that at this point. <laughs> If you have kids, you probably know what I'm talking about. All right, and then bringing it down, sitting on your heels, also an option to spread your heels a little bit wider, come to a hero's pose and sit in between your heels or bring a block or a blanket underneath your heels. We'll actually close out here. So just resting your palms on top of your knees. Taking a few breaths. Always an option to come to an easy seat as well. Bringing your palms together to your forehead to remind yourself of positive thoughts, bright thoughts, uplifting thoughts. Knowing that everything starts right here Bring your palms to your lips to remind yourself to speak kindly to yourself, speak lovingly to yourself, talk to yourself like you would to your best friend, like you would to someone that you admire and honor and respect. And then bring your palms to your heart to remind yourself that you are loved, you're worthy, you're capable, you're special, you're significant, and you are well. Take a deep breath in through the nose. Open mouth, exhale, release it out. You can flood your eyes open. God bless friends, thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed that. And to the person that requested this video, I hope that helped give you what you were asking for. Um, and if you have any questions or comments, always know that you can leave them down below. If you'd like to donate to my future studio, I will leave the GoFundMe link down below. And if you'd like to donate to me personally for equipment and just things I, I need to function on a daily basis, I will leave my Cash App and Venmo on the screen. Thank you so very much for everyone's support, whether you're able to donate or not. Absolutely no worries, but I, I genuinely appreciate everything. And I will see you for Wednesday. All right, have a wonderful rest of your day, rest of your week, and I'll see you then. Bye.